In this video, I am going to demonstrate how to create slide templates or layouts in Google Slides by editing the master slides. To start, I will go to slides.google.com. I will be directed to its homepage, which has two major sections. First section is its template gallery. It contains pre-uploaded templates and divided into categories like personal, work, and education. The second major section is the place where we can see recent presentations. We can specify what will appear in this area. For example, I just want to see my own presentations, so that's what I selected. I can also change the view from grid to list and from list to grid. I can also sort the Google Slides file based on when it was opened or modified by me, when it was modified by anyone who used the file and according to its title. I can also use the file picker to easily find files. For this demo, I will click the plus symbol to start a new presentation. This blank slide will appear. Demo is its file name. The default theme on Google Slides is called the simple light. I can change it by going to the theme sidebar. For example, I will choose the shift template. If we click the layout button at the top, we can see the templates available to use for this theme. Basically, in this video, I am going to show how we can create our own design slides that will appear on this layout options. I will go back to the default template, which is the simple layout. As we can see, the layout options are plain and simple. This is where we are going to create our new slide templates. We will save here our layouts, including the background, color, fonts, effects, placeholder sizes, and positioning so that we can use them anytime for every current and future slide within our presentation. To make this happen, I need to go to the Slide Master view. You can access the Slide Master by going to the Slide tab and selecting the Edit Master option. At the top is a Master Slide. Whatever you put or change here will take effect on all the layouts. For example, I will upload from my computer an image. I will resize it and put it to the upper right corner. Notice that this logo appears to all the slide layouts. That is because I placed it on the master slide. I will also change the default font face for the title placeholder. I will change it to bangers. For the subtitle placeholder and body text placeholder, I will choose the Sacramento font face. Observe that all slides under the layouts category are now using those font faces. I can also change or add designs to specific layouts. For example, in this title layout, I will increase the size of the subtitle placeholder. I will also add a round diagonal corner rectangle to this layout. I will set its fill color, border color, and border weight. I will set it to the back so that the placeholders will appear on top of it. Notice that the changes only apply to this particular slide layout. Another example is for the title and text layout. I will increase the size of the title placeholder and the body text placeholder. I will also add shape, specify its fill color, border color, and weight. I will send this shape to the back. We can create a brand new layout in addition to the existing ones. To do that, right click any of the slides and choose new layout. By default, a title placeholder appears. I will change its font face and increase its size. I will click the insert placeholder button and choose body text placeholder. I will put it at the bottom of the title. I will also increase its size. I will add a four point star and change its color. I will press Ctrl D to duplicate. I will also change its color. I will rename this layout with my new layout. I will press the X button to close the slide master view. At this point, I am back to the editing mode. Here, I can put the content to my slides. Here, we can see that the first slide uses the title layout. It has the design that we added in the master view earlier. I will add text to the title and subtitle placeholders. Right now, we can focus on adding and editing the content. I will go to the Insert tab and select New Slide to add another slide. By default, Title and Text Layout is after the slide with Title Layout. I will add the title here and I will also enter the body text. 
Earlier, I created a template which I named with my new layout. I am going to change the layout of this current slide to that. As we can see, the content is the same, but the layout has been changed. If we need more slides which require the same template, then there is no need to create it from scratch. We saw in this video that we can just create the layout using the master view, then use them as many times as we want in our presentation. Before I end this video, here's a bonus tip. We can insert a slide which is imported from another presentation. To do that, go to the File tab and select Import Slides. On this pop-up window, select the presentation where the slide will come from. Here, we can select which specific slide we want to add. Click the Insert Slide button once done. As we can see, the slide has been added here. I hope this video helped you in using the Slide Master View to edit slide layouts and create new ones.